Greetings beautiful YouTube. This is Gina here with another video and I help um, authors publish books. So that's basically what I do. Other forms of internet marketing as well. But that's one of my favorites is helping authors publish books. So let's get into it. I feel like the one thing that you might be missing is getting inspiration from other people. So if you want to write a book, right, and your book is on the topic of ice cream, what I would suggest is going to the Kindle store and looking at other books on ice cream and seeing how you can, um, you know, see what keywords they're using, see uh, their reviews, if there's something you can improve on, if they have a bad review, like, oh, they did this wrong, maybe you can make it better, maybe there's stuff you can add in or incorporate to make your book better. And basically, uh, you so you write your copy, even if you don't go and look at any other books in the store, because... Um, I've done it that way too, but I feel like if you need that inspiration and you're lacking and you just want to know what you're doing wrong as far as marketing, just look at the top books in the, uh, in the Kindle store, try to find ones that are like similar to you, as similar as you can is like self-published books, books from, you know, authors like yourself. Another way to market your book and get it out there is by, um, Yes, using the keywords and stuff and, you know, maybe similar designs on the, not similar designs, but you know what I mean, like just getting inspiration from other books and, okay, how is their cover look and, um, you know, just making it better. And another uh, thing I will say is free in series. That's one of my favorite marketing strategies. It definitely works for nonfiction. Having a first book free in series, especially if it's good, will definitely help you to get sales on your next books if they like the first book. You can do this in nonfiction too. I've done this with my Natural Hair for Beginners guide. I made that one free so they can see my other books and also other products that I offer. And oh, you might be thinking, I'm not going to just write this to give it away for free, but it does work. Um, it does. So those are two small marketing strategies I wanted to give you today. And just think about it like, okay, if you think about writing a book, make sure that you have that you know inspiration that like I always do that when I'm I don't usually look at it honestly until because I already have my ideas and stuff and then I'll just look at it when I'm about to actually upload it into Amazon or draft to digital I go in there and I just look at the keywords I go in the Amazon store or the best sellers or whatever and look at the keywords that they're using look at the covers I'm like okay I kind of getting some inspiration and go from there um and see what how I can improve or do better or you know just do my own thing and be in my own lane so yes if you do that if you get inspiration that goes for other things in business too like if I'm doing a new listing on uh Etsy or if I'm doing a new product or something I always look and see okay this is already out there this is already successful what can I do similar or what similar keywords can I use and people do will do that to your product you do that to people's products but I, I was missing that concept in the beginning when I first started internet marketing is kind of being afraid to get ideas from other people and just go look at the same thing that you probably already have that idea you have or something might already be out there and kind of just see how it's set up and kind of just do your own thing and make it your own. Don't, you know, completely swipe, but definitely get inspiration. And don't be afraid to do that because uh, the top marketers are doing it all the time. They see something that's doing really well and just kind of follow the lead. And, you know, it gives you inspiration to see what you can do and get new ideas and stuff. So don't, there's no shame in that. So you should definitely uh, go for it. So if you're making a book on cupcakes, I would definitely look at other books on how to make cupcakes and just kind of make it your own and see which, how you can improve it. So go and look at other people's books and see what you can do. And that was just my small message for today. And I'll see you in the next video.